Hey guys, Furious Pete here. And yesterday, I went through the scariest moment, most nervous moment of my life. Yesterday, I had surgery for testicular cancer. I'm doing this video today not as trying to get praise, trying to get sympathy from you guys, but more so a message of awareness, trying to talk about the severity of this issue and how others simply don't get help. I have no background music for this video, no nothing, just straight up talking, so if you can, bear with me. First, I guess I just want to explain how all this unfolded. Um, for those of you guys that saw me in the fitness uh, Olympia weekend, you might have noticed that I wasn't maybe all with myself because I was uncertain with, with a lot of things that were about to take place. Um, about a week before, maybe a few days before the Olympia, I noticed some ir irregularities down there. Um, mind you, if you can't accept any graphic talk or, or just talk on the matter and can't take it seriously, please turn off this video. Um, but I noticed some irregularities down there and I booked an ultrasound that I had the first day following um, my return from, from Vegas, from the Olympia. And they told me bad news, um, that there was a mass built up there and it is testicular cancer. Um, after that, I quickly got an appointment to a urologist. The urologist um, told me we're going to try and book you for surgery as fast as possible because with something like testicular cancer, if it's contained and it hasn't spread yet, then your hopes of recovery are really, really good. And so I did my appointment. Later that day, they called me to do blood work. They told me that I have a surgery already booked for Tuesday, which was yesterday. Um, along with that, they told them they booked a CT scan for me, a CAT scan to see all any, if there's any cancer that had been spread. Um, there's also worry about my right side uh, that could have been infected as well. A lot of thoughts going inside my head and how my life can, can really just, is about to change, could change for the worst. Um, and that my mission in this world is, it's gonna be a lot more harder to complete and things would be get, become a lot more difficult. We went to did the surgery yesterday. Um, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Um, I'm on painkillers and everything I need to be. And, um, you know, I, I can't lift for six weeks now. Um, it sucks. Fitness is my passion. Um, but it's sure I'd rather not lift for six weeks than, than have cancer because it turns out that we removed the, the left side and it turns out that there was no spread uh, yet from, from uh, as a result of the CT scan, so which is good, which means that there's a really, really high chance that nothing else will be spread and, and that it'll be okay. Um, and that, that's obviously the, the hopes. Um, it was definitely the scariest moment of my life. You know, you also feel like you kind of lost your manhood now that you only have one ball, but you can still survive. You can still have kids. So moving on from that, the reason I'm really sharing the story right now is because I found out that the reason a lot of these cases go really bad is because people are ashamed of coming in with this problem. The average wait time for somebody with testicular cancer to come and see, seek help is five months. The average wait time is five months. The, the very next day that I, the, the day I noticed I had an issue. It might have started a little while before, but the day I really noticed, I went to the doctor the next day. And that's how all of you should be. There is a one in 300 chance that a male can get this. And if you have any sort of issue down there, or for that matter, if you have any other medical issue, don't be ashamed of it. Go seek help. Going to see a doctor in private is definitely not that difficult to do. And at least you can be rest assured that there isn't a problem. And if there is a problem, you'll be directed in, on the right path towards getting better. 
um, because honestly, without medical attention, some, some of the stuff just won't go away. And that is, that is the reality of things. So I wanna urge, urge anyone that has a problem in this area to go seek help. Another thing that I wanted to address before I cut this video off is the fact that a lot of people are looking for something in their life to make them say, hey, I need to change now. Or, you know, something really negative happens in their life and then all of a sudden they make a change for the better. I, on the other hand, I've been living my life exactly the way I want to live it. I have the most amazing friends, family, girlfriend, dog, fans online, and simply I'm doing what I love to do. Fitness, share my story, share my passion for it, entertain others with all my stupid antics, travel around and share those stories. But ultimately, I'm doing what I wanna do and post-surgery, things won't change. Even if I, you know, if obviously if things were a lot worse with my cancer, things would have to change. You know, I would have to do a lot of chemotherapy and things like that. All my, you know, the, everything related to that obviously isn't good. Um, my testosterone levels are obviously going to be lower now, um, which will be harder to build muscle, but that doesn't matter. It's all about, it's not necessarily about getting the craziest results in the gym. That's never been my passion to get super ripped or super massive or anything like that, but it's more so to enjoy the gym and have fun in it. And that's, that's, that's what I want to, um, keep pushing and keep, um, pursuing that dream and, 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 you know, keep motivating others to do that and have fun in the gym rather than take it, be over serious about it. Um, but getting back to it, I've, I'm going to continue living my life the way I'm living it. I, although this was the scariest moment of my life, it also made me realize that I'm living my life already and I don't need to change anything now. Maybe there'll be some thoughts that go through my head that say, hey, maybe I shouldn't work as often. Maybe I should take a, a week break here and there and go away with the girlfriend, with the friends and, and just, you know, leave work behind and, you know, actually cherish life, a, you know, a little bit more, even though I do cherish life, but, you know, maybe take a vacation here and there. Something that I think I'm going to do after all of this. And that's it, guys. I started a new chapter in my life, and that is in the hopes of being a testicular cancer survivor. There's going to be a lot more things going on in the future, a lot more tests and everything. I'm going to start vlogging every day again. So if you want to, follow me in my, on my other channel, Furious Talks. I'll be updating you guys. I'll leave in the link in the description below if you guys want to follow along. But really, I'm not looking for sympathy. I really just want to urge anyone out there to seek help if they need it. If, they, if there's a problem going on with your body, with your life, then seek help because it's, it's, it's not worth waiting. It's really not worth waiting. It still boggles my mind that people wait five months if they have an issue down there because they're embarrassed about certain things. Seek help and you can live your life longer and be better and love it. I truly believe that the last week and a half, two weeks, I've been living by my motto of dedicated for life and just, just living it day in and day out. Um, it's been a really, really, really difficult time as obviously I didn't know the results of anything. But um, yeah, everything's gonna be good. Please bear with me as content won't necessarily be the greatest over the next six weeks, especially fitness wise. I have some content that I've filmed. There will be content going up, but just bear with me over the next six weeks as I try and heal up. Thanks for watching guys, and thanks for always being here. And because I can still say this, stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid my friends.